Um, so I think the essence of the campaign, everybody understands that actually, do you know what, don't stop, don't get your phone out, don't film these things for social media to show your friends, just get away. But undoubtedly, the police in the past have asked for some of this footage and do rely on it as evidence. Yes, I mean, absolutely, our message is uh, for people to run, hide and tell in the unlikely event of, a, of an attack. Um, obviously, if the footage is out there, we would always ask for people to send us the footage. But primarily, we're saying to people, make sure you are safe. Don't hang around in the face of danger. No, quite right. It's gotta, that's got to be the first priority. But um, is it our perception, I think, is that those images getting out and being shared is helpful to your work because for instance in catching people or identifying people those images getting out there seems to us to be a helpful thing for you um, you know when police arrive on the scene their first priority has got to be getting people safe they haven't necessarily got time for detailed interviews of what people have seen and things like that are you now saying don't do that at all or are you just simply saying be careful and look after yourself well, I mean, of course these images are always helpful to us, but they, um, we don't need them at the expense of people putting themselves no. at, at risk. So I'm saying, you know, make sure that you are absolutely safe um, before you choose to do anything with your smartphone in terms of recording anything. And I think recent events have shown us that people are hanging around to record things when the area isn't safe. And I would say, please don't do that. Make sure that you run away from where the danger is. Mm. If you can't run, make sure you hide, and then make sure you tell somebody. The, yeah. the, the, the message as well, run, hide and tell, that you've just reiterated. We know that some people at Parsons Green, despite the footage that emerged of people walking slowly and calmly and filming uh, the explosive device, which fortunately didn't really go off as, as it was intended, but lots of people did run and there was a bit of a stampede and quite a lot of people got injured as well in that stampede. So there's a sort of slight concern that actually that might cause more damage. Yes, I mean, th there's always a risk when a lot of people run at the same time. But, I mean, some of the attacks that we've been talking about um, and we've seen, unfortunately, involve people armed with uh, guns, armed with knives. Uh, and therefore, we would still say to people that running away from that is, is the way that you're potentially going to save your life. And, it, you know, there may be some injuries that um, take place, some minor injuries, but really we want you to make sure that you get away from where the danger is and help other people. Um, but protecting your Self is really important. It's a frightening world we live in, isn't it, Lucy? I can remember when our main lesson to our children was stop, look, and listen to teach them how to cross the road. Then, yes. of course, there was yell, run, tell, which was about stranger danger. Now, I think your message is run, hide, tell. Um, what is the best way for parents to advise their youngsters? So, I mean, I think this is about having, a, having conversations with your children. Um, you know, it's something that certainly um, I take the time to do. Just advising young people that if they're going to a crowded place or, you know, they're going out for the evening, just take the time to have a look at um, where exit points are, should they need to move out of somewhere really quickly. And I think it's really important as a parent that you do remind them that this is a really unlikely event that's mm. likely to take place. So, you know, the chances of being caught up in a terror attack are still really remote but if in the unfortunate uh, incident that you are make sure that you run hide and tell and the tell at the end is really important to reassure your parents that you are okay mm. absolutely well look thank you very much for joining us this morning that's deputy assistant commissioner of the met thank police uh, lucy dorsey